Hi, everybody. Jenna, Greg, Will, and Tamina here to lead uh, us together through our evening prayer tonight. Um, I'm going to be the officiant for tonight, and we're going to sing a beautiful hymn and do all the things that we do. So let's take a moment to collect ourselves, and then we'll get started. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Will you please join me uh, on number 26 in the hymnal, O Gracious Light. Gracious light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone. Immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now sunset comes, but light shines forth. The lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit, God, who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord. Wherefore you are through all the earth and in the highest heaven adored. Our psalm appointed for this evening is a portion of Psalm 119. It's verses 25 through 48. And Jenna and I will lead them by reading them responsively and invite you to join us in whatever way is appropriate. Psalm 119, verses 25 through 48. My soul cleaves to the dust. Give me life according to your word. I have confessed my ways and you answered me. Instruct me in your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments, that I may meditate on your marvelous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Take me from the way of lying. Let me find grace through your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set your judgments before me. I hold fast to your decrees. O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, for you have set my heart at liberty. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Turn my eyes from watching what is worthless. Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant, which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments. In your righteousness, preserve my life. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taunt me, because I trust in your words. 
Do not take the word of truth out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. I shall continue to keep your law. I shall keep it forever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell of your decrees before kings and will not be ashamed. I delight in your commandments, which I, which I have always loved. I will lift up my hands to your commandments and I will meditate on your statutes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John. This is chapter 7, verse 53, through chapter 8, verse 11. Then each of them went home while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning, he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. And making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, no one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. Here ends the reading. Will you please join me in the Magnificat on page 119? My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue with suffrages B on page 122. The response is, we entreat you, O Lord. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Our collect of the day is the collect for the second uh, Sunday of Advent. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our hymn for, for tonight is from Lift Every Voice and Sing, number 12, We're Marching to Zion. Let's just sing verses 1 and 4 tonight. Come we that love the Lord, and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus surround the throne. And thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let our songs abound 
and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to fairer worlds on high, to fairer worlds on high. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let's march one more time. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let's begin our time of individual prayer with the reflections from St. Augustine's prayer book. With trust in God's mercy, review your actions and words in the day that is ending. Remember the encounters you had with other people. Did you use your time wisely, working diligently and honestly? Have you maintained healthy habits? and received God's gifts with gratitude. In your dealings with others, were you honest and kind? Where were you most aware of God's presence and what particular blessings did you receive? What actions or failures to act need forgiveness? And are there things you need to do differently tomorrow? I'll take a moment uh, and invite you to name before God the prayers of your heart, um, either thanksgivings or supplications or whatever it might be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray together the general thanksgiving on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 
Thanks, everybody. Thank you for joining us for prayer today and letting us join you. Y'all take care of each other. Hope to see you soon at our various Advent and Christmas uh, season services. Bye now.